when creating pretty much any business online, whether it's an affiliate marketing business, a blog, or anything else, the first question you'll often need to ask yourself is, what is it going to be about? Or to use the correct internet business parlance, what is your niche, or niche as some people pronounce it? A niche is a subject that will appeal to a specific audience. An example of a niche would be sewing. Now, sewing is something that appeals largely to older women, but also a lot of younger women these days who are interested in arts and crafts. And of course, some men like sewing too. You know, let's not stereotype here. Either way, most people are either interested in sewing or they're not. Thus, it has a niche appeal and gives you a specific target audience. You can go even more niche if you like, though, and choose crocheting or bird sewing patterns. But the more niche you go, the more narrow your audience. Another example of a niche is fitness. Now, fitness is a much larger niche because it will appeal to a huge proportion of the population. Nearly everyone will want to get fitter at some point in their lives. It's still a very specific subject matter that will talk to a very specific type of person, but it's a much broader niche. When it comes to internet business, the key often boils down to finding the right niche, and this will often mean finding a niche that has a broad appeal while not being overly competitive. The problem with the health and fitness niche is that you're going to be going up against a huge number of other channels. Some big names in this space include the Hodge Twins, Athlean X, Bodybuilding.com, Rob Riches, and Elliot Hulse, to name but a few. Many of these channels have been around for years now and have millions of subscribers and huge amounts of money to spend on marketing. That means if you want to go up against them with a video on how to get abs, you might well struggle to get your video to a position where it will actually be seen and clicked on. But on the other hand, a YouTube channel about crocheting cat patterns probably won't get looked for very often and will quickly reach its peak, leaving you with nowhere else to go. And of course, a big cap on how much you can possibly earn. So you need to choose the right topic and to find that sweet spot. So how do you find your niche? A good option is to start with the bigger niches and then to focus down and find yourself a smaller sub-niche within the niche. So to start with, let's look at what the very biggest niches are and what the most lucrative ones are. In general internet marketing, the biggest niches are fitness, dating, self-help, and making money. This is because all of these subjects are things which have a hugely broad appeal and which will appeal to practically everyone. If you have the marketing budget, then you can reach the biggest potential audience this way. At the same time, though, these niches are huge because they have something else going for them. Value proposition. Each of them has something very big and important to offer people, an emotional hook that makes people more passionate about a channel. So, for example, fitness isn't really just about getting into shape. It's about being more confident, sexier, healthier and happier thanks to your training and your diet. People hope that by watching these channels, they can turn their lives around. The same goes for money and dating. These offer complete lifestyle changes. They let people find love or get more sex. They allow them to travel around the world and to wear nice watches. They have a real emotional hook, and this means the products sold in advertising can charge a lot more. People are much more willing to pay for a book that will make them a billion dollars than they are to pay for a book that can teach them how to sew. But YouTube is a weird place, and when you look around YouTube, you'll find that these regular rules only partly hold true. But there's actually a lot of other highly successful content there that is just, well, just plain inane, to be quite frank. Some of the biggest topics on YouTube outside of those big internet marketing favorites are gaming, makeup tutorials, grooming and style, 
travel, technology, fails, cats, DIY, comedy, and lifestyle vlogs. That's a much more bizarre selection of niches. And if you look around, you'll find thriving subcultures celebrating all kinds of other unusual things. There are some very popular YouTube channels, for example, that show people how to transform new Transformer toys. The thing to understand about YouTube is that it's much more visual than a blog or a social media channel. And this means any subject matter that is more visual in nature and more dynamic is almost sure to be a success. Cat videos provide immediate laughs, while makeup tutorials show women how to look their most beautiful and have the proof that it works right there on the screen. And people enjoy watching inane things like vlogs about the everyday lives of YouTube stars because, well, believe it or not, it almost feels like company. People enjoy watching the YouTube channels of people who are like the coolest friend that they'd love to hang out with. YouTube is such a direct, personal format that it's a great way to create almost a relationship with your audience and to thereby make a big impact on them. This works even better if you can sell the kind of lifestyle they find desirable and thereby allow them to live vicariously. A lot of people watch the lifestyle vlogs of rich, attractive people because they want to live those kinds of lifestyles themselves. And, of course, a lot of it is fabricated. Meanwhile, watching someone else play a video game and providing a commentary can be a way to recreate the feeling of hanging out with your mates while playing Goldeneye on the N64 in your youth. And at the same time, you're getting news and footage of new games that you might be interested in. So... How do you bring all these disparate elements together into something that will really work for you? Well, that's a question only you can answer. But a good way to start is to take a broad niche that has a wide appeal and then focus down. For example, you can go with fitness, but find your own way into the industry by making your channel all about fitness for the over 50s. This is a brilliant way to offer something a bit different and a bit unique and thereby stand out from the crowd while still having that value proposition and universal appeal. Another thing to always remember is to be true to yourself. Choose the niche you're most comfortable with and you'll find you have much more to say on the matter. You'll come across as much more passionate and interested in your own topic and you'll be better able to inspire your audience to listen to you. I can't tell you which niche you need to pick, but using all this information, hopefully you can come up with something that will have a big appeal while also being true to who you are.